Hey guys, it's Parzival, I also go by Will, and I am back with a video that I am actually kind of surprised is not going to be going up on Wednesday, but you know what, I'm going to see if I can get this out as soon as possible because it is something that I'm interested in and I want to post about. Um, so yeah, I don't know what footage I'm putting in the background, but we'll figure it out. Um, let's get down to the chase. Uh... As you can tell by the title of this video, whatever that title might be, I'm going to be talking about the current creep show art drama and especially the posts that she has allegedly made on Lolcow and the fact that they are uh, her claim that they are allegedly made by her stalker, uh, who, uh, who Amy, who she has um, had history with. Um, so. Let's start with some basics. Creepshow art, Creepshow art is a YouTuber who does uh, commentary videos with her art in the background. She talks about a lot of different topics from um, creeps online to uh, terrible drama that's going on to uh, she's currently also been doing some Disney videos of weird Disney crimes, that kind of stuff. It's a lot of random stuff that she just likes talking about. And I used to watch her all the way back when um, she was first starting out, uh, when she was doing stuff with D'Angelo Wallace, when she was first sort of getting her feet in the water and talking about various topics. And I will say that I have been in and out of her like videos for a while. I find her stuff to be kind of the reality TV of YouTube videos. They're fine, they're a little bit brainless to listen to, I can just put them on the background, but I don't really want to slash have to think about them too much because she is opinionated and can get angry and can say things before thinking about them. And that's just my personal opinion. And and that doesn't mean she's a terrible person necessarily, by just my subjective opinion. But, uh, considering the drama that's go been going on currently, that might change, or that might be different. Uh, she might actually be a horrible person, because allegedly, um, despite being friends with a lot of big art YouTubers, uh, and talking about terrible people online, and how they're just terrible terrible people and have the worst morals uh a 4chan like uh image board called lol cow uh has released what they claim to be 300 posts uh of creep shows self posting and advertising and roasting her friends and her other associates on the forums spanning two and a half years and th about 300 posts, 292 posts, I believe. Um, and if that's true, yeah, that's kind of sucky because I looked at the posts, I did some research, and she says some pretty crappy stuff about people she's supposed to be friends with. Um, or at least the posts say pretty crappy stuff about the people she's supposed to be friends with. Um, the posts use slurs, the posts... Uh, insult people based on appearances or assumptions of sexuality or just generally roast people for things that really shouldn't be anyone's business. Um, meanwhile, in response, Shannon, uh, one, put up a long response on her community page basically saying that this wasn't actually her, this was her longtime stalker that she had thought she had um, made amends with because they used to be friends, uh, but she has turned around and in fact gone back to being a weird stalking obsessive person, uh, named Amy. And she has also deleted her Instagram. Uh, the account is still up, but it's entirely blank, and she put a story up saying that she was going to take legal action. So, the entire fandom is basically... I get or whatever fandom you call the creep show art fandom or whatever the art drama community is in a bit of a tizzy because 
is Creepshow Art the worst person ever for being a two-timing bitch talking about all of her friends and self-promoting herself on Lolcow? Or is this all true and this is all Amy and her stalker because um, someone is out to get her? And here's the thing for me. I don't think it matters. Overall, I really don't think it's going to matter that much because I don't think either source is trustworthy. Does the actual truth matter? Sure, to a lot of people, definitely. But currently we have one side, which is the low call admin, saying that they have revoked uh, Creepshow's an uh, anonymity for breaking several site rules, including uh, bringing in people who are not involved in drama, such as family members, um, self-promoting, uh, Patreon, and stuff like that, and um, I don't remember any of the other rules she broke uh, off the top of my head. I have notes, but I didn't, like, get a screenshot of all the rules that she broke. But basically, uh, she was promoting herself on Lolcow, and she brought other people in, and basically she broke the site rules, so they uh, have taken away her anonymity and posted her 300 post history. Uh, they claim that this is all uh, hers, and they use their site uh, information to track her IP, and they know it's her, and you can look at all of her post history, and they have the data for that. They have even posted a thing to prove how they track the data and how they know it was her. On the other hand, you have Creepshow, who has made a lot of enemies in the past. Not just this person, Amy, who she has talked about uh, two years ago, but she has also notoriously been on the... Um, bad end of people like Lily Jean, who has doxxed her, or um, Without a Crystal Ball, who has also doxxed her to the point of legal action. Like, Creepshow Art says things, and she makes enemies because she th says things and covers drama, and she's not afraid to do that, and people don't like her. She has a lot of enemies, and it's not unrealistic to think that these people could be doing going to the extent of spoofing her like ip spoofing her actual computer computers like um like mac address or whatever uh i all, i watched beauty demon's video about it and she doesn't do it and neither do i but i know computers also have a very specific one for themselves it's not just an ip um so you have both sides of that both of them have very strong points However, you also have the fact that the Lolcow admins have not given the data out. And sure, the Lolcow forums say that you're not allowed to dock someone. There is no way that they can technically prove and show everyone that these for sure belong to Creepshow and Creepshow's emails, and they cannot share the matching data without IP doxing her. But at the same time, it's the Lolcow form admins and they're basically the same thing as 4chan and kiwi farms to an extent in terms of behavior they're certainly not above doxing it's sure it's in their rules not to do it but they've done it before um and most people who participate in these forums can or would do it again and if if they're not giving us the actual information and data from the um actual information they have, they really don't have much to stand on because they're basically going, well, we've done it, and we have the site information to prove it, but we can't show you because obviously that's a crime, and we're above that, and we're not going to dox that, uh, we're not going to dox Creepshow, despite the fact that the form kind of, inc like, encourages similar behaviors of stalking and screenshotting and being obsessive and so you're just gonna have to trust us that this is all correct i'm not really up for that i don't really like the idea of trusting the admins of an image board which you know spends most of its time trying to get a reaction out of people they find funny or cringy i don't know i wouldn't trust them 
On the other hand, I also really wouldn't trust Shannon, because she thinks before speaking, or she doesn't think before speaking, she is very emotional, as uh, seen in most of her videos, and she has talked about her issues with mental health, and it is not out of the realm of possibility that she just doesn't think goes to lol cow, vents about her friends, or shits on them because she is trying to feel better about herself because she's in a depressive state, uh, and either is self-sabotaging or self-harming or projecting because that is her method of control over something, because she's said that she's checked those forms before. She's mentioned that in the past. So it's not out of the question that she is self-harming or self-sabotaging or just not thinking and doing these things. If you look at the posts, um, a lot of them that are specifically targeted against her and calling herself, like, ugly or something, that does sound like it is in the vein of how she talks about herself. And it's... That doesn't... That... If, if it is a mental health thing, that doesn't make it right. That also doesn't mean she's a terrible person, per se, that, like absolutely can't like become better than this but her actions if that were true are pretty heinous it's i don't personally believe that one should say that someone is is their actions necessarily um but i do think actions matter and if these actions are true they're pretty terrible actions and she did bad by her friends if she did make these posts. But overall, is this going to actually matter? Creepshow's got a big following, and she's going to get people who don't believe her, sure, and they're going to be very loud about it, but she's also going to have people who do believe her, and who sympathize, who go, oh, these are just haters, or unreasonable weird people who are obsessed with you and if there's one thing that i've learned from being on the internet it's that really when it comes to publicity something like this something like this drama gets her into people's radar again it gets people thinking about her again it gets people thinking about who she is and looking at her old videos and I, even if she gets quote-unquote cancelled because this turns out to be true, which I have no opinion on, admittedly, I think that both are viable options, I don't think it's gonna do anything to her. I don't think it's gonna do anything significant to her, at least. I think that people are going to enjoy what they're going to enjoy, and her stuff isn't super like, gritty intellectual in the first place. Yeah, she has a decent amount, uh, she, she's on a high enough point where she has a decent enough room to fall, which definitely would suck if, if, like, that's the case, but I don't think that this is going to be really super impactful for her actual career. It certainly is going to cause controversy and she's deleted her twitter and she, uh, already way before this and she's like entirely like wiped her instagram so she might have to like start from scratch again but she hasn't closed that instagram and she hasn't like closed her youtube channel like this isn't really something that I think is going to affect her in the long run. I think that this is just more publicity, and regardless of who made the posts, or who is right in this situation, everyone's gonna turn out a winner in this case, and a loser, because everyone's gonna be super stressed out, so everyone's gonna lose, everyone's gonna have strong opinions, everything's gonna suck for everyone. But Creepshow is probably going to have a lot to talk about and a lot of videos to make, uh, or that she's able to make on this. And the Lolcow forum got a response out of her, a very 
very like extreme response which is generally from my understanding what people like to see they like seeing people delete twitters they like people being in pain and like they got their response and creep show's name is going to be in everyone's mouths for the next week and a half until this all dies down again and everyone's going to be like Oh, hey, wait, wasn't that, like, Creepshow Art Girl in this drama with Lolcow, like, a month ago? In, like, a month. But, yeah. Uh, that's what I think about the situation. Um, tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think that Creepshow is guilty? Or do you guys think that the Lolcow form admins are, like, lying? Or do you think that it's a stalker or any one of her past enemies? Let me know in the comments. That's what they're for. I, I have a very, like, mediocre take on this, so hey, if you want to convince me, try to do it. Go ahead. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching my video, and I will send you guys to the outro. Bye bye Well, that's the end of this video. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section, or contact me on any of my social media, which is linked in the description below. I also have my Patreon there if you guys want to throw a monthly donation at me. Thanks so much for your support. I'll see you next time. Bye!